The thing about Trump is he everything is hyperbole. Yeah. As we know. So he's a real estate tycoon. It's all about selling big, you know. Mm. So ev almost everything is couched in the biggest, the greatest, mm. the this or that. Um, and the challenge when you interview him is trying to cut through that kind of stuff. And just you have to focus on the one or two or three things that you really want to get. Like I went in, I wanted to get him to apologise for the Britain First thing. And he pretty much did. I mean, people are quibbling over exactly how he said it. Well, it was conditional, wasn't it? If you tell me yeah. they are horrible yeah. racist people, yeah. then I, I would certainly yeah. apologise. If you want me to apologise. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was qualified, but I think he's... It's a, look, for someone who never apologises, that was, that was as far as he was going to go, and I would take that. Um, and I think some of the what other do you things... about, Just on those Britain mm. First retweets, what mm. do you make, then, of the fact that he retweeted them? As you say, un the material that he was Here's retweeting what I think happened. was I think... unverified. Yeah, it, yeah. And, yeah. as president, the yeah. most powerful person in the world, surely you should know what you are retweeting well, before Well, I, I think he it. just saw these videos, right? I don't think he knew who Jaden, what's her name was, one of the leaders of, of Britain First. I don't think he knew who she was. I think he just saw videos which appeared to depict, in his eyes, ISIS doing despicable things. Yeah, but he must it, see so no, let me, much. No, let me finish, let me finish. So then he just goes, boom, 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 as he said, right? Yeah. I'm sure that's what happened, right? I don't think he had a clue who they were. No, I believe that. But most people in Britain didn't know who Britain first was. So, um, however, my criticism of him is that once President's a lot of people... not most people in Britain. Well, once, of course. Has once, a bigger responsibility. Of course, of course. I don't dispute that at all. He shouldn't have done it. And he shouldn't be posting unverified videos. He shouldn't be posting videos like that from people he doesn't know they are. Um, and I think the, the, my complaint with him was he left the retweets up there for several weeks until those accounts got deleted. And so the retweet mm. automatically got deleted. Mm. No, I think it was an unedifying uh, episode. And took issue with the Prime Minister mm. when she complained right. about the retweets. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any defence for it. I think he... You know, he issued as near to an apology as you're probably likely to wrestle from Donald Trump, and I think that was at least something. Um, you know, he's an interesting character. I've got to say, he hadn't changed at all. <laughs> oh, really? I was going to say that, actually. What was it like for you, I, obviously, interviewing him? You guys are mates, so... Well, two, two things struck me about the whole time in Davos. One is, I did, to me, he hadn't changed at all. It was exactly the same with me. And we've you know, been, been pretty good mates for a long time. And then it's weird, because then suddenly it's a bit like one of you suddenly becoming prime minister. It's a bit odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to go into battle with them, you know, or sort of interview, interrogation. And it's there's Susanna sitting there or whatever. So it was a bit like that. It's very similar <laughs> to Donald Trump in many ways. And, um, Except that that battle happens every morning yeah, yeah, on the yeah, program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would just be normal for yeah, us. But I, think, I think that I would say about that, that I've interviewed Trump a lot. I mean, like uh, 30, 40 <laughs> times. I've been in this situation with him time, and on The Apprentice hundreds of hours. So it was an interesting experience. I felt that he was actually quite candid about a number of things. Um, he was sort of obfuscating on others. It was a classic Trump interview in many ways. But I, I, was, I think the most interesting thing to me, the really interesting debate for today, and we've got perfect people to debate this, it really comes down to this, doesn't it? Donald Trump has made a big charm offensive for Britain in the last week. You can all see it. And he's saying, look, uh, he says he's coming to Britain twice, working holiday, state trip. We are at the same time having the biggest protest of all time planned for this guy, right? At the precise moment, he says, I'm here for you militarily whenever you need me. I'm here for you on a much bigger, better trade deal. This country has to work out. What are we doing with this protest? What is the point of it? What are we actually trying to achieve? Because what we may achieve is wrecking what he wants yeah. to give Except us. Except people are perfectly entitled yeah. to Absolutely. protest. And Absolutely. If he's, is he really so thin-skinned that a protest by people democratically entitled yeah. and legally entitled to do yeah. that is going to stop him striking a trade deal? Will you be marching? I, I, I don't know. You don't know? I wouldn't have you thought don't... so, no. Well, I've just read your... In your piece, it said but that you. But I'm perfectly into to march I've un, I've there un, or pro Trump. I've unleashed, or... I've unleashed my opinions. He's unleashed me, so unleash your opinion. Will you be marching with your I very go much, home I'm Trump very much doubt it. No. Uh, I think it's a good debate. I think people will have views either way. I just think we've got to be. We're coming to the moment of crisis with Brexit, where we actually leave. The American president wants to chuck money at us and defend us. But and at the same the time, it's not, it's people not want Theresa May and the government going out and protesting him. It's just it's ordinary people expressing their opinion. I'm simply saying I think it's ridiculous that we're planning the world's greatest protest when we actually rolled the red carpet out for Vladimir Putin, Robert Against Mugabe, whom people Bashar al-Assad, pr protest Prince, all the time. Uh, 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 President Xi of China, yeah. right? The, the Emir of Kuwait, where it's, if you're gay, you go to prison for six years, yeah. etc. We need to work Protests out our moral compass.